What's going on guys, Blazing here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you are having a wonderful day and thank you for joining me on another Raid Shadow Legends video. This is going to be the fourth video in the segment for RSL Helper and it is going to be going around gear cleansing. Uh, how you're going to be able to use RSL to you know make your gear cleansing much easier for you uh, rather than having to go in game and kind of clicking on every piece and looking at everything. RSL Helper just gives you the bigger picture and gets it done uh, or presents it to you in a much easier way. So let's get into it. All right, so we have RSL Helper opened up. Uh, we have the game client opened up, and we also have Plarium Play opened up in the background. Again, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you run something so that Plarium Play feeds the information to RSL Helper or RSL to help it takes what it needs. Um, once you have that done, you click under the Inventory tab, right? Uh, and then I like to do this in full screen mode, right? Just makes things a little easier, uh, be able to see a lot more pieces of gear. So. Uh, you can separate between artifacts and accessories, right? So you can do each one at its own time. Uh, you can add equipped items, uh, but you won't be able to sell equipped items, right? So it doesn't really help you on that, but it does help you doing the gear cleanse process. Um, and then you can do separate types, right? Now, the first thing I want to go through is adding a cell file in. Now, if you click over here where it says cell settings, you go to load setup. And then you download basically whichever cell file you have. There's quite a few of them out there. Um, you know, I know that Farbstuff has a few of them in his Discord. Educated Potato has uh, one in his. Uh, Brunk Cat Herder has a couple of different ones. I like using the uh, one for uh, Educated Potato. Uh, not that I don't trust the other ones. I just really like this one because it fits the uh, criteria that I'm looking for in a lot of pieces of gear when I do some account work, right? Um, so. Uh, once you hit load setup, all the information is in here. You click out, right, and that is your setup file. Now, uh, let's just say we wanted to automatically sell the pieces of gear and we don't want to level anything um, to not waste silver, right? Which I don't think is a waste, but let, we'll just play it that way. Uh, so we brought everything down to anything that's not been leveled up to eight, right? So we'll go back up to six. Okay, now you can see here that we have... Uh, 58 five stars and 134 six stars. Once you click on this where it says auto cell check. Now what this has done is it's taken everything that the cell file says does not meet or meets the criteria to be sold and it has pulled that. So we are now have 39 five stars and 59 six stars. Uh, now again, ordinarily, I don't do it like this. I like to level everything up to eight to at least get some points out of the artifact enhancements uh, just because we have fusions going on, right? Uh, so, but for some people that are farming, you know, four or five, 600 pieces of gear during like the 3X events, that's different. You might want to do, do it this way, right? Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to basically pick our five stars. Um, now, ordinarily, I would start with rares, but I've already sold all my rares. You can see here, even if I auto, uh, if I check off the uh, auto sell check, it still doesn't have any, but let's move into the five star epics. Now it's going to tell me that I have 42 five star epics, right? And so now I have to, if I hit the auto sell check, it's going to tell me 31 out of those 42 met the sell criteria. So let's go ahead and then minimize this, right? Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to hit add all to queue, right? And this is just, again, if you're just using the auto cell file, right? Uh, then you're going to go in and you're going to click on your cell tab. And then basically here where it says add selected to the cell list, click add. And then you're going to see in game, it's highlighted 31 pieces of everything that needs to be sold, right? And so then what do we do? We click sell. We've got 1 million silver. The gear that does not, that we don't want to level um, is gone, right? Now. Let's say now that we want to do this manually, right? So we're not going to use the cell feature in our cell helper, uh, or not the RSL helper. We're not going to use a cell file, right? Let's pretend that all these pieces of gear are leveled. What do we do? Well, okay, we still have to open the cell side up, right? And then as you're going through clicking, right, each individual piece, um, it's going to basically select it in game for you, right? And again, you could do this with every piece opened up at the same time. I like to do it uh, in waves. That way it makes things a little easier and I'm paying a little more attention to what's going on uh, along with uh, you know being a little extra pickier with the gear that I keep. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and sell. Now do make sure if you're gonna use a content creator's sell file, 
uh, talk to them about it, ask them some questions about it. Like, hey, is there something that it sells, doesn't sell? Because some content creators uh, won't leave the um, stones, will leave the stones get out, uh, right? Just because, uh, you know, it's still kind of tricky at what you can get for it. Um, but for me right now, most of this stuff looks like a sell. Uh, I think the only one that I want to try to level up is this one. So I've highlighted 10 pieces out of my 11 that I have left. Uh, 450,000 silver, click sell, and we're done. Right uh, now, the same process can be done through, you know, leveling or any gear uh, that you have in game. You can separate it by sets, right? If you go under artifacts, you can see all your defensive sets, offensive sets. You can do just speed sets, right? Um, I really like to do that when I'm going to sit down and I'm going to have a couple of hours to just, you know, do just a proper gear plans on the account. Uh, that's what I do is I, I go through each set and see everything on the account of what I currently have, right? Uh, and then again, again, you can do by subsets. Everything uh, is pretty, you know, self-explanatory here, right? If you want to click by subsets, main stats, uh, item type, if you want to go. And that's pretty much about it. Um, it's not... It, it, it helps out a lot and i really love it because you know if you're looking in game you can see here if i'm looking at my first piece of gear let's go ahead and reset this real quick you can see i in game i can't see that my shield that my weapon has a double roll in speed right and one roll in crit rate i just see that it's level 12. so i really like using rsl helper because it gives me everything there i don't have to click on every individual piece which is a huge time saver so uh, you know, you could exactly just pick what you need, what you want, uh, keep what you need, sell what you don't need, and just make it easier on yourself to, you know, uh, sell your gear. Uh, that's pretty much about it on this one, guys. Hopefully this helped you. Uh, if it did, let me know in the comments down below. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask me. You can DM me in Discord or leave them in the comments down below. I do answer every comment that I have. As always, guys, much love, much appreciation. Be safe, be well, be good to each other. I'll catch you guys in the next one.